Servants of the Emperor, Briggs O here, and in this video we're going over how to install mods into Warhammer 40k Darktide. Yes, that's right, I heard you loud and clear. I read through all of my comments and mods were brought up on every video I've made so far, so I want to make this video to get the knowledge out there. Whether it be how to install mods, or whether it be what are some good mods to install, I've got you covered in this video. If you find this video useful, then if I could ask you to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel, I'd be extremely grateful. First of all, I do need to say that modding is only for the PC versions of the game, so if you bought it through Steam or the Microsoft Store, then you're able to mod it. However, Xbox players, I'm sorry, you can't do this. Some questions you may have around modding is are they safe to use and will you get banned for using them? And the answer is yes, they are safe to use, provided that you get them from the right sources, and no, you will not get banned for using them. In fact, Fatshark's own Catshark made a post recommending the Darktide Modders Discord in the Communities channel in the official Darktide Discord. Highly recommend you check out the Darktide Modders Discord, by the way, for getting any clarity around installing mods into the game. There will be a link to it in the description below, as well as all the links you need to install mods on Darktide. I also just want to say that I don't take any responsibility for if you corrupt your game files while installing mods. This has never happened to me, and if you stick to this guide then you should be up and running with mods in little to no time. But anyway, let's dive straight into it. First up, we need to download the Darktide mod framework and the Darktide mod loader. To do this, head over to Nexus Mods and create an account if you don't already have one. Then you can click on the links in the description to go directly to the mods or search for them in Nexus Mods. Download both the Darktide mod framework and the Darktide mod loader. After downloading the mods, they'll be in your downloads folder. Keep this folder open as it will be useful later. We then need to locate the games directory folder. You can do this in Steam by right clicking the game in your games library, click on manage, then click browse local files. I have the game on Steam, but if you bought it through the Microsoft Store, you can find your game files by following the on-screen file path. Once you've found your games directory, keep this folder open as it will be useful later. Then we need to go back to your downloads and open the Darktide mod loader and extract the files into your games file directory. Run the toggle underscore darktide underscore mods dot bat file in the games directory and this will automatically patch your game as soon as you run it. An important note here is that you need to run this patcher every time the game receives any kind of update, such as hotfixes. Next, we need to go back to our downloads and open the Darktide mod framework. Extract the files in this downloads to your new mods folder in the game directory. And that's it, Darktide can now run mods. Let's now go and get some mods and get them installed. First up, I'm going to grab the Health Bars mod. To do this, we need to head back over to Nexus Mods and download the Health Bars mod. Once again, you can find the link for this in the description. After you've downloaded it, we need to open the zip file and copy the contents of the mod into our mods file in the game directory. We're not quite done here though, as we then need to go into the mods folder and open in notepad the text file called mod underscore load underscore order dot txt. When you've opened this, head back to the mods folder and either make note of or copy the name of the folder of the mod. In our case, it's health bars. We then need to paste the name of this folder underneath where all of the number symbols are, or to put it simply on line number 7. Save the text file and close it and the mod will now be installed. Make sure you do hit that save button on the text file, otherwise if you close it without saving, the mod will not work. Right, let's now hop into the game and see it working. Now we're in the game, if we hit the escape button to bring up the options menu, you'll see a mod options tab that you can click on to tweak any of the settings of the mod. I'm not going to go over this in too much detail, but my recommendations for the health bars mod is to switch on all enemy health bars apart from monstrosities and the scab captains you find at the end of assassination missions. Right, so we've installed our first mod, but we want to get more. Then no worries, all we need to do is repeat the install process for the first mod, but this time in the text file, we need to put the second mod's name underneath the first. So for each mod you put in your mod folder, you need to add a new line of text underneath the last mod with the name of the folder of the new mod. So now we've gone over the process of how to install mods, I'm going to go over my list of mods that I highly recommend using. So as well as the health bars mod, I recommend using numeric UI, which is particularly useful as it gives you a lot more information about your team and tells you how many dodges you can do without taking penalties. A must-have pickup for me, as it can inform your decision making around picking up ammo as well as giving you other vital information. For this one, definitely check out the mod settings to toggle what information you want on screen. The next mod I would recommend is Bookfinder, and this one feels like a mini cheat, I'm not gonna lie, because it gives you a notification in your chat when you are close to a scripture or grimoire. So if you're tired of trying to get those 16 grimmies or scripts for Sir Milk, this mod can really help you. 
The last mod I would recommend is the scoreboard mod, and this one kind of feels like it should be a standard feature in the game, but we have this mod to give us this functionality for now. This mod allows you to see how you've done at the end of a mission by breaking things down into a team, defense, and offense scores, which then affects your total overall score. This mod is not perfect in the sense that when I use it with friends, the scoreboards are usually a little bit different from one another, but overall it's a great mod and a must have from me. There are a lot more mods that I could go over, but that might have to be for a different video. If you've stuck around for this long, then thank you very much, and I would love to hear what mods you're using in the comments. I might be making more videos about mods in the future, so it would be great to have your recommendations. But anyway, that rounds out this guide of how to install mods in Darktide. Make sure you protect yourself from techno heresy, and have a great day.